Hello there and happy 2024. We're at Fantasia Land in Germany to start the year. Are you excited to be here, Stephen? I'm very excited. It's a very good park. Yeah. Lots of brilliant attractions to experience. So yeah, I'm ready. And your first time in Rugbury, which is where we're currently stood. Yeah, I was meant to go some time ago, but yeah. COVID. But this is amazing, this area. The yeah. whole atmosphere, the steam coming out of the drains. It's yeah. like, I'm proper feeling it. Can yeah. we go? Can we go we, on? We'll, we'll go in a minute. We'll go in a minute. But we yeah, all being new together, like we're breaking before we even look at it. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> that's true. We are. We do curse rides most of the time. It's my first time here since 2021. Uh, Rupra was amazing then. We've only been here for a minute. It's already amazing. But before we go on it, we've got some more introductions to do. So this man bought a camera, but forgot to buy a lens for it. So we'll talk more about that later on. <laughs> Hello, you're back. I've returned. Is this is this a proper return this time? It's a or proper is... return. Well, there's two two trips in one month, which yeah. is quite shocking for us, really. So yeah, we're back. We're, we're back. ready for it all over again. Absolutely. <laughs> Have you been on fly yet? No. Well, I say it's my first time here since 2019. So really, this is this is brand new to me. First impressions. Wow. Yes. Like, what an area. Yeah. Like I say you can't. You always rely on Fantasia Land to produce fantastic theming. I agree. They've knocked this out of the park. Totally not agree. even been on the ride yet, so. <laughs> and we've got Andy as well. Are you excited to be back for the first time since 2018? Yeah, 2018, last time I was here, yeah. Big yeah. difference to this bit. Yeah. The theming's been done really well. Shall we go on it? Definitely, can't we? Let's go, it's time to fly. Park now, but we've been on fly. What did you think? It's my favourite flying coaster. Yeah, I it's just really comfortable. I bought the flying coasters. Yeah, loading was efficient because of the way it's designed. It's the future of flying coasters. That absolutely, you realise how far the gen like the technology's come when you go on fly. Oh, definitely, it's next level technology on that thing. And you know, I, I, can we go again? <laughs> Not with an 80 minute queue. Can we wait until later, maybe? I, I, it is really good, though. It yeah. is really good. Should we do it in the dark later? I think we should try and get it in the dark, yeah. Yeah, the park is open until 8 o'clock today, so we should get some night rides and stuff. Right, let's bring Mullet in. Whenever he goes on a new coaster, he says it's his new number one. Well, I'm not going to say that there. No. But that is exceptional. Yeah. I can't say any more than what Stephen said. Like, that is the future of flying coasters. It's I'm my favourite flying coaster going. That's awesome. I'm not used to coaster. filming with someone know, who's taller yeah. than me. I know, but I say that it's, it feels very odd being yeah. on a flying coach coaster and just launching. Like, that doesn't feel right. What about the bit at the start, the transition from seating to lying? Oh, that's mental. Like, yeah. that's insane. And as Stephen says, that is the future of flying coasters. It's efficient, brilliant. The coma masterpiece. Absolutely. Absolutely fantastic. Where's Andy gone? Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> what did you think? Really good coaster. Yeah. The innovation of the design, the way it surprises you as you go round. Yeah. I thought that was excellent for a flying coaster. Now, mix that innovation with Manta. Oh, you'd be happy and, with that? I'd, oh, I'd be completely over the moon. Yeah. Manta still edges it for me. Yeah. Breyer's got a special place. Manta, but airtime's good. It never stops, just keeps going. Yeah. One inversion after another. Really good, some good airtime as well. Excellent. Well, it's looking like it's going to be a very, very busy day, so we don't know where we're going to go next, but uh, yeah, a good start to our day at Fantasyland. And uh, as you're watching through, if you are enjoying this video, please hit that like button as it helps us massively. Let's go. Well, 
what we're doing next then, Stephen? So we're currently in Woos Town. Uh, yeah. This place uh, opened in the early 2000s, not sure the exact date. Yeah. They've got two Mara spinning coasters and a, I think it's a Vekoma thing, which we need to have a look at in a bit because it's quite interesting. A Vekoma thing? Um, well, uh, can you pan over there? Just uh, lots of birds on it. They said that looks like a plant to me. Yeah. Well, there's a ride there, and I don't really know how to explain it. It's a bit like a parachute, but not. It bounces up and down, and it's quite fun. We'll film um, you on that in anyway, a little while. Wind just for your thoughts. Yes, tell us. Um, they're good coasters. Yeah. I actually prefer horse. Most people prefer beer. Beer is a little bit more intense, a little bit faster, bigger drop. Whereas horse, I think, has a more interesting trick track section where it goes sideways. And then it was actually. Colin Towers are going to get angry at me here. I, I thought we were in the way of the bin, man. <laughs> just stood there with a the bin watching us. Uh, old towers are going to be angry at us. Why? Well, at this place particularly, because they actually have the world's first free fall coaster. All right. <laughs> well, two of them. Uh, <laughs> they have a little bounce at the end. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> no spoilers. Should we be excited for Fear and Force then? I think it'll be very fun. Yeah. It's a fun, it's a fun ride. So, I won't get. You, don't go too excited. Take it for what it is. It's a family coaster. But it's a very good family coaster. With a 20 minute queue. That's not too bad for this thing, so. Let's go then. And then we keep going on Tarrant. We just go and lap Tarrant. Yeah. And tell them it's got a five minute queue and it's walk on. Yeah, what I'll do is, if you get stuck, <laughs> I'll start sending the pictures from when I was last here when Tarrant was walk on and be like, oh, look what you're missing out on. We need to go and find the plug and just turn it off and just leave them up there. <laughs> that was good enough for me. That was good though. You missed out. Chiapas. Me? Yeah. I hear it doesn't get too wet this time of year. That's right, yeah. So I might give it a go because I've only done it once. Great. Uh, are you doing that? Yeah. I'll do it, you know. Before we go running off to do Chiapas, how was Winter's Fear and Force? It's good. Yeah. It's good. I, I would like to come back. Well, I think me and Andy said we're going to come back tomorrow and do First thing. Force. Yeah. Because um, we've only done Fear today. Yeah. We we'll should do the other one tomorrow. Yeah, it's up to an hour's view now. Yeah, I thought it was a bit longer than 20 minutes. Which, yeah, oh, we did break it, didn't we? So, yeah, uh, of course. We had yeah. to break something. Well, it just didn't quite line up with the station, so you had to come out and give us a bit of a wiggle to get us in the right place. Like. Right, I'm ready. You ready? Let's Excellent. Go. Right, so uh, whilst we were studying the Winger's Fear and Force Cube, Mullet made a suggestion, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. Should we go on Chiapas? So here we are behind us, it's Chiapas. Yeah. And now Mullet's like, well, I've just had a cold. The shoes might get wet. Oh, I'm know. from the south of England. I can't do it. The violin's out. I would like to go for a run when I get home. That's why I'm not doing it. Wait a minute. So you're worried you're going to get the runs? Okay, no, no problem. No. <laughs> no. So are we going on it then? Yeah, uh, I think it's a great water ride. Yeah, I do. It, I didn't get too wet on it last time, so I'm hoping it's going to be all right today. I'm going to risk it. <laughs> I'm going to risk it. It's a good, good, good coaster. It really is a coaster, to be fair. It is. It's, um, are, we, are we counting it? Are we having it? I'm not having it as a credit, no. Yeah. not that bad. But it is a good if, water if you, ride. If you say we are, then we'll end up with four of us on it. A certain of it. <laughs> Actually, you know it's a credit, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've got one word for you. Chicken. <laughs> I will go on Mystery Castle, though. Yeah, right. He just wants to go and fly, nice and smooth for him. Right, we're doing it. Let's go. Ready? Come on. Do you know what? You love water rides. I do actually. I'll even include some on-ride footage, but it is from January 2020, believe it or not. But we were allowed to film on it a couple of years ago, so while we're on it, we'll show you some clips of it, and then we'll talk about it while we're soaked and feeling sorry for ourselves. That will be all right. We will, because we're northern. Be really 
really cold, isn't it? Oh, oh my god! That is so cold. It's a light sprinkling, but a cold one. Oh boy, here we go. Psycho drop. Oh, that's cold. Oh, oh that's cold. So we've been on Chiapas, as you can probably tell. It could have been worse though, because you know, even though our sleeves are soaking wet, there's a little bit of my top that's still dry, so it missed a bit. We might go on it again in a little while, you know, just to make sure we get the full experience of wetness. <laughs> top tip for January, don't go on Chiapas because it's quite cold. Kind of recovered from uh, Chiapas, haven't we? No? Yes? Yeah, we went in to be the, there's a kebab experience down here by Mr. Uh, River Quest. Yeah, there's, the, the dryers are down there and they're just, you know, no one's using them because River Quest is closed. So we were like, yeah, we'll use one. Yeah, the Chiapas ones are very busy, so. Yeah, it's, it's helped us a little bit. Uh, what's next, Stephen? Mystery Castle. Q lines there. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's after one. So we'll be getting the full Mystery Castle experience. Good. I do like Misery Castle though, contrary to what people say. What's the difference? The shorter, the shorter sequence, you don't stop at the top. Right. But it's okay. a lot more, you get a lot more air time because it goes straight up, straight down. It's more, it's more um, thrilling in my eyes. Yeah. But well, like, to be fair, you just get a hike, and Mystery Castle is probably better for you. I and the good thing is, I think Mullet said he's coming, so. Well, he's currently uh, by Taran having a beer, isn't he? So uh, he will be joining us shortly. But yeah, this is if you don't like drop towers or you're just scared of the dark, this is ideal because it's a drop tower in the dark, so you cannot see how high you are. So, That's uh, true. But yeah, <laughs> unfortunately, there's nothing of this ride to show you. But yeah, we'll go on it, we'll uh, talk about it once we've been on, and then uh, we'll go from there. But in a minute, Taron is closed. It did have a 70 minute queue as well, didn't it? So I'm hoping that's going to go down a little bit. Yeah, but, um, we are going to have to do it. However, it is worth noting that they do have quick pass here these days, but it is, I think it's 20 euros for two attractions for yeah, one person. Yeah. That That's the one that includes Taron anyway. Whereas there's a cheaper one that doesn't include Taron. Nah, I, I don't think we benefit from a cheaper one really. No. Because uh, we've done the, the rides on it really already. Yeah, other than Colorado Express. I don't think we'll have to wait for that. No, it's I It's only quite good that one, so. Yeah, right. Mystery Castle. You all right, Mullet? Right, we're going to review that bin over there. No, we're not. That's Mystery Castle review. What's going on? It's uh, all a load of uh, hot air. Is it? Is it like an organ? <laughs> Well, it's an intimate hybrid, isn't it? It's like it wanting to be SNS, but not quite as good. It's uh, lacking a bit of oomph behind it, but it's all right. Cause it's in the dark, so it adds a little bit of a fear factor. Especially when you're going up to the top and you can't quite see where the top is. And you just, you're just having faster and faster going up. Everyone else needs to stop. And it's like, and then oh, you hover. There we go, at the top now. And then you drop. Yeah. I'll, I'll be honest, that's the weakest cycle I've ever had on it. What I'm running on today is not. That's, yeah, that's, that's called down. A, I think that's a get through the queue quick queue. Uh, yeah, cycle, it, sorry, it's, yeah. It's not doing anything fun whatsoever. No. I, I didn't really have any air time. There was... Do you know the best thing about it was? Thing. The best thing about it was this guy here. <laughs> Screaming and shouting. Why does it scare you? Because it's a drop ride. But it, as no everyone knows them. on this channel, I do not like drop rides. But it's inside, you can't see anything. I don't anything. care. <laughs> I don't care. It's the feeling of it. I had to have a beer before I went on it, and you can hear it in my voice as well. It's not very good. Any excuse, mate. <clears throat> Any excuse for a beer. It's a rancid contraption. <laughs> it can go in the bin as far as I'm concerned. Well, that one over there. 
What? That bin's not big enough that for it. <laughs> what do you think, Andy? I really enjoyed it. Yeah. Yes, I got good some um, some good air time. Good Especially stuff. on the second one, yeah, it was, I enjoyed it. Excellent, yeah, uh, as Andy points out there, we did go on it twice, just to make sure Mullet got on it, so, uh, right, what's next? Fast we don't passes. know, we're going to go for a wander. Oh! Oh! What's the plan, Mullet, what are we doing now? Well, we've made the purchase. We have, what? What is it? Quick pass. Quick pass plus. 20 euros. Yep. One fast one fast track effectively on Taran, Black Mamba, and there's a couple of other attractions on here as well. Yeah, Mouse to Chocolate, Chiapas, um, Talican, Talican, Winters, and Colorado. Yeah, so we've got that Bad. because we obviously need to do Black Mamba, we need to do Taran. We want to do Taran in the dark as well. In a minute, 60 minute upwards for both time is running out isn't yeah. it so we've just thought you know what take the plunge we get on those two coasters pretty much straight away so the euros you can't complain can you no i know it's a lot of money but to put it into context for one ride fast pass batman gotham city escape part one is 19 euros a person yeah. so for basically the same price we're getting two rides so we're going to do black mamba uh, it's, there's not a lot of places i can film this coaster from so i'm going to cheat a little bit and put in the vlog that we filmed on it, putting the vlog, putting the POV that we filmed on it in 2020. So here is Black Mamba on ride. This was filmed with permission back in 2020. We'll see you soon. It's a modern b and in my eyes, and as you know, I'm not a fan of... I wouldn't the, say it's modern, mate. I know it's old now, but like, <laughs> it's departed a new generation of uh, B&Ms that wumble around. You know, it does wumble around a very interesting, well-themed layout. Yes. So, so, like, visually, front row, it's quite fun, because you're seeing all these elements coming at you very quickly. In my eyes, maybe it's getting old, I can't process it all quick enough, and there's that much going on. No, I agree. I'm at the break room and I'm like, oh, right, okay, well, that was good, but like, I didn't have time to really take it all in. Um, not really for me, no, but I can see why people like it. The issue I have with like what you just explained is that my mind starts to wander. Yeah. I start to think about other stuff rather than what I'm doing. I know, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, I actually thought it was okay. Yeah. Uh, I got some good air time on it. Uh, the visuals I thought were really good. Yeah. As well. The, it's a bit of everything. And yeah. As I say, there's a one at Park Asterix, I can't remember what it's called. Azyris. Yeah, that's it. Mon 2, they're both definitely better, but it's not the worst one. No. It's still enjoyable to ride, I never got bashed about. That's so the main that's, thing. That's the main yeah. thing for me. It was enjoyable, something I'd quite happily do again. Cool. I'll tell you what does help when you walk straight on it with quick pass. Because <laughs> I'd have been moaning a lot more about it if we'd have waited the, uh, oh, the hour and a half that it is currently showing, so uh, yeah. Not, yeah. Not, worth an hour and a, not worth an hour and a half wait, definitely, but getting on with a speedy pass, it's well worth it. Agreed. Right, well, uh, we've got another speedy pass to use, or quick pass, so it's over to Taron. <laughs> Yeah. 
It's Tarrant time, isn't it? I'm very excited. Yes, me too. We're going to use Quick Pass Plus again. I think very I said that again. right. Yeah, so hopefully walk straight on. The queue is showing, is it 65? 65 at the moment. So. Yeah, and the sun's setting, so we are hoping we'll still get on it in the dark as well later on. That we will have the queue for. No problem with that. No problem, unless we go and buy another Quick Pass. Don't tempt me. <laughs> Do not tempt me, because well, I actually would. To be fair, if we get just, you know, a 10 euro one, you can share them. Then there we go. Because you can either get them 20 euros, you get two rides for yourself, or 10 euros and you get one ride each on something. And you avoid the cattle pens of Tarrant. Yeah, the cattle pen of doom on Tarrant. Yeah, not, not great. Have you done many modern Intamin launch coasters other than this and Velocicoaster? Maverick. Maverick, I wouldn't say that's modern. It's 2006. 2007, actually, 2007. Yeah. No, to be fair, yeah, this and Velocicoaster are probably my only two. Yeah, we need to get you on Gotham City Escape, which I will be comparing this against, I'm afraid. So this will be compared to that and to Tatis today. But I want to see how far it's come. Is it, is it still the master of Intamin coasters? We will find out. It's been five years for me, so wow. let's see how it compares. Let's bring Steven in, because I don't think he liked Darren the first time. <laughs> Come on, be, you might as well be negative. Like, you normally are. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not always negative. I'm, I've been quite positive today, to be fair. Right, Taron. It's probably very good. However, when you wait three and a half hours for it, looking at some dead plants, <laughs> it isn't the most exciting. I, mean, I, know, I was just put in a bad mood. It was a bad day at Fantasyland. They just brought in fast passes. The park fell apart. Nothing was operating properly. It was a bad day, basically. I haven't been back since. So this is the first time in here. You are, and things are a lot better today. Yeah, they've actually got more fast pass entrances for most of the rides, so that's a bonus. And, and, but, and do you know what's funny now? You're now going to use fast pass. Yeah, I know. And there'll be someone in the queue <laughs> who's queuing 65 minutes who's going, oh, I hate he's this part. Fast pass is awful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, but what I'm saying is that they've improved the system yes. since when we first brought it in. Yeah, they have. Yeah. It's about the big one, when the big one first had the speedy pass. It was on the exit. That's what was happening in the end. Yeah, oh, I know. I remember. Right. I remember. Oh, right. It was bad. Right. Um, Should we go on so to it? Taron, right. Taron, that's what I want about. Yeah. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Um, uh, one more thing, though. Um, we're going to throw in another POV again. This was filmed with permission back in 2020. This is a front row POV of Tarrant. Let's go. Tarrant in 2024. It's 
good. I feel like the new Intamins are way better though. Like two Tatis. Yeah. Uh, you got Velocicoaster, uh, Gotham City. All better than this one. Why? Uh, Why though? What makes I feel them like better? You've just got the air time. I like the air time on these coasters. And yeah. I think all the other ones, just the G forces are perfect. Not too much, not too little. Just right. They've got the Goldilocks uh, uh, the coasters uh, of Intamin, you see. But this one, it's better than when I did it last time, but I also didn't wait three and a half hours. Yeah, yeah. That, that, <laughs> that makes a difference. Do you want to um, jump in as well, Mullet? Hello. Hello. Go on, you two. Give us your thoughts. Well, it, it still makes a racket. Um, <laughs> for me, I've not been on Gotham City. I've not been on two Tatis. Two Tatis. Not been on those. For me, the comparison with this was Velocicoaster in terms of the modern day intimate launches. That is an exceptional roller coaster. It still is. It's not Velocicoaster. No. But what I think is. It just goes to show how good Intamin are, because when Taran opened, it was widely regarded as one of the best coasters in the world, and we've just been on it, walked on it, and here we are saying, well, actually, it's nowhere near the level of the modern-day Intamin. I mean, it's hardly old. Yeah. It's 2016, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. around that. So it's, it's not exactly an old coaster, but in that time, Intamin, what, five, six years, has significantly improved. Massively improved. And they just continue to push the boundaries. Yeah. Intamin will just push coaster technology as far as it will go. Yeah. It's, it's mental. That, that's the thing, it's like if you if you compare Taron on its own, if you just, you know, you strip back the oh, is it as good as this, is it as good as that? It's bloody excellent. So I think that that's the main way you've got to judge it really, but compared to the newer Intamin stuff, in my opinion, it doesn't stack up to them on its own. It's by far the best coaster here. Uh, still one of the best in Europe, but for me, it just shows how good Intamin are, really. Uh, should we bring Andy in? What do you think, Andy? I actually really enjoy it. One of the things I like over this, with uh, Batman, is how close you come to all the steam and going around it. Yeah. It immerses you into everything and gives you a bit more of a thrill right through it. Like the water coaster is much better. This is still a really good ride. Yeah. On its own, as you were saying, absolutely amazing. Not quite as good, but I wouldn't say far away from some of the new Intamins. Yeah. The Water Coaster to Tatis, Batman, all really, really good rides. The G Force, the airtime on this, not quite as good as the other ones, but still really, really good. I would recommend anyone to come on it. And yeah, that is the best one in the park. Good stuff. So, um, keep an eye out on um, your experience guide because as well as the Fantasia Land vlog, we're also going to do a fully dedicated video to Taron where we talk about the statistics and just do a more in-depth how good is it compared to other coasters out there. So, yeah, that's all for now on Taron, but there will be a much longer video about it coming very soon on the channel. For now, what's the plan? We've not even discussed that matter. <laughs> no, I'll put you on the spot. Uh, Colorado Express. Colorado Express. Colorado Express, yes. Or oh, is it Adventure? Colorado Adventure. It's a mine train. We got there in the it's end. It's a Vacoma mine train. It's a Vacoma train. mine train that looks like it belongs in a Disney park with dodgy cornering. Let's go. <laughs> nightmare we're saying what we're going to do next because uh, we were on about doing Colorado Adventure but we got to it and it's looking like it's going to be a very long queue on the board it's saying 60 minutes queue was out of the entrance so we just decided to go and do the ghost train in the China area fortunately I can't uh, take the cameras on ride and show you that but we're all, all in agreement that it's just not very good the other three are now going on Talakan, which is the top spin ride here. I believe it's a Hus top spin. It's got the fire effects and everything with it. So 
It's a very impressive ride to watch, not a ride I like, so I'm going to film them on it and then uh, I'm not sure what we'll do after that, but the night's drawing in, so hopefully some night rides on the coasters soon, but to do that we're going to need the queues to drop because everything's at like 75-80 minutes at the minute. For a Friday, it is a very, very busy day here at Fantasialand. for Taran this time so we could go on in the dark but there's no doubt about it Taran in the night time is an incredible roller coaster it's going to be interesting to see how it compares again in the dark because again things like Velocicoaster Batman Gotham City Escape are incredible in the dark not done two tatties in the dark but we're going to go on Taran now straight on with these quick passes we are Okay then, Taran at night, how was that? It's very good. Yeah. Um, I still think I prefer the newer incidents. Yeah. Still. But I think it's a different experience than night to during the day. Yeah, absolutely. And the intensity of the case now. Yeah. Um, I feel like it's a little bit more forceful this time around than it was early on today. So, yeah, I think it's a solid case now. Yeah. That was incredible. I've got to be honest, like, Compared to earlier, earlier it was a little bit like, oh, it's not as good as I remember. But it's very noisy. <laughs> Absolutely exceptional roller coaster in the dark, one of the best. And it is hard now to separate it from other intermins on that showing. But again, it's difficult to rate them all because you do them at different times of the day, you get a different experience. So now that that's warmed up a little bit since we came there earlier, that was unbelievable. Yeah. It is such a different ride at night. Like, it just doesn't stop. You know, and I feel like that, I've never ever experienced that ride going around there so quick. That was just unbelievable. Yeah. Just getting thrown everywhere. Yeah. Mental. That was excellent, that time. Like, that's the time I remember. Yeah. Back in 18. Yeah. Uh, recently, it's a really good intermittent. Between all of them, take the loss of coaster out of the equation, and it's pretty level with some of the new ones. I really enjoy this one. Should we go and do fly? I think we should, yeah. yeah. That's a good one. More of that, please, for him. That's right. 
it. The only thing I'd say is the second time we did it, I noticed it was more forceful, and as a result, I actually found it more uncomfortable with the best restraint. It was like pressing on my shoulders through the IG force through, corners. Through all of it, to be honest. But, but yeah, but yeah like the corners were worse, yeah, definitely. Yeah. But I think, mean, as a whole, I mean, that probably doesn't help that I've got wide shoulders and I'm chubby, so that's probably my fault as much as anything. But as a general observation, we do get asked, like, I'm a similar size to you, what was it like for you? That's a question that sometimes me and Mike get asked, so I just want to be honest about it in the way that, yes, it was quite uncomfortable, but in terms of flying coasters, it is a future. And I'm moving away from this park here, but I'm hoping that over the years, Six Flags take out their flying coasters that they've got, put the Vekoma ones in, and rebrand them as new Superman flying coasters, because I think they could strike up an amazing deal with Vekoma and then they could work together on a lot of projects. And your overall thoughts on Fantasialand? We've had a fantastic day, like it's my first time back in the park in four years. What a fantastic park. I love this place, it's brilliant. There's such a good, solid lineup of coasters here. And also other rides like Mystery Castle, Chiapas. Um, it's just such a variety here. Such a great park, really enjoyed today, brilliant. Uh, so I like the park, uh, it's got everything, you know, pretty condensed then, walkways could be a little bit wider and some a little bit more lighting in some of the areas at night because it's a pretty dark with your foot walk. The uh, lots to do for the whole family is a really good park to visit. The signage has got better than the last time I was here five years ago. Uh, so that's made a big improvement little bits and pieces we can do to improve it. No, I really enjoyed the day. Uh, yeah, really good park. I know you're not keen on it massively, but how has today been? Today has been a lot better than the last time I came. It was a bad time. But what I found listening to uh, Muller and Andy, everyone likes different things about this park. Yes. So for me, the highlights were Talaka, which yeah. is just nuts. Um, I really like winters in that Coast Town area. But even the Tittle Tower Street, I know you're laughing at me, I'm going up and down with my community. But it's really good fun. Um, I just find that even just walking around the park yeah. is pleasant. Yeah. As long as the show isn't kicking out. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's the point. Don't try and do Colorado Adventure just as the show is finished. It's not a good idea. And also, if you do come here, it's caught me out a lot today. Yeah. You get lost very easy. And I know this park. So just don't be like, I'm going to be around the park in five minutes. Take a bit of extra time, take it all in, take it steady, because you might end up, I can see where I want to go, but you can't actually I get to the where issue you want is to go. that sometimes you can see what you want is there, but to get to it, you've got to go via your open park and back again, <laughs> and then you get to it eventually. Yeah. But it's... also another thing that I find with this park, it was an issue at, I raised in 2018 was it's not an accessible friendly park so if you are in a wheelchair which when my first visit here my dad was here with us in a wheelchair and then we had my son who was in a buggy it, it's not an accessible friendly park a lot of times today i've seen families carrying buggies down steps or ramps and it's just like that is something this park needs to fix they are not an accessible friendly park it's desperately need to fix going forward. Yeah. One thing I do really like about this park, and again it's different for me than you guys, I love the music. You're walking around, you're in Clubheim and it's got the soundtrack, you're in Rupra and it's got the soundtrack, and I know the Rupra soundtrack is going to be in my head now for probably another three years, like it was before, after the last time. I'm a score nailing, and I know a lot of people say all oh, the very same, but they do a good job, that's why they're saving. that's why everyone wants the same it soundtrack. It gets stuck in your head, doesn't it? So it, it does the it job, doesn't does it? It does the job, yeah. <laughs> now, one thing I do want to say is, as well, I think it's a bit of a myth about the operation team. I don't think they're great. Why they're all right, Taron, how many times did we see it stacking on three trains? But uh, for me, I, I think maybe I'm comparing it to Europa Park and thinking about just in general German efficiency. It's not as efficient here, but I would imagine if you put this in the UK, it'd be the most efficient part. Oh yeah, it's it's like the, the expectations are a bit like, I'm trying to compare them to Europa and I don't think that's fair really. I think Black Mamba really said I was not being a very efficient case to the b and Yeah, my point is that's quite poor really. really. Yeah, it, it's, it's dreadful for operations Black Mamba, I don't know why it, just, it is. 
Fly, for what it is, is better than I expected the first time round. The first time I was here, the Fly was open, it was open all day, so I couldn't really compare it. But today I've seen it on a busy day, and they're all right. Yeah. But I don't get why Tarrant takes so long either. No, I think it's probably more people pumping than it is the staff. They have because quite a efficient baggage though, don't they? Yes, so I don't really get why. No, because once people are in, they, they just they shoot down the train and you're off. So I don't know. Maybe it just doesn't help that the cube's awful. There is an interval as well. I'm not sure what it is on Tarrant. There'll be a programmed interval. All right. How soon they can send it. So right. like the system should be down. So that could have to be. That's been some man that's worked on interval rides. Right? So, yeah. <laughs> Sun rides have better intervals than others. 13, 32 seconds. Meter, yeah. it's about 55. So. Yeah. Fair enough. But you're not going to get that, no matter how hard you try these days. No, no. So, so, to wrap it up on Fantasia Land, we've got two excellent coasters in Fly and Tarrant. I think Black Mamba's not as good as I remember, but it is still a very good coaster. Otherwise, I can kind of take or leave everything that's here. Mystery Castle's alright. Um, sorry, Chiapas is great as well. You've got the Rave Tunnel. But I'm not going to be in a hurry to come back now. Probably wait until they put a new dart ride in, a new coaster in. I do really like to come here when it's quiet. I've said to a couple of people in message today, I've realised why I remember that I like this part when it's quiet and not when it's busy. I think it's two different places. If it's busy, it's not enjoyable. The walkways are too busy, there's not enough space, and the toilets are not very good either. The, 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 the amount of people they have here. The toilet's not big enough. Like, like there was an example where we went into one of the toilets before and it, it was rammed and I think there was, for the blokes, there was five your idols and one cubicle and it's like, that's not enough in a part like this. Yeah. You need at least like treble that number. With yeah. the women's toilets, just keep way back. And yeah. it's like, it reminded me of all the holiday at Halloween when the women have to go into next toilets because they're literally waiting that long. So yeah. I think they need to improve the toilet infrastructure. I know that might sound ridiculous, but I remember making a suggestion in 2018 that they needed more card machines and I, people were writing saying, oh, we'll never have card machines now, wherever you go, there's card machines. I'm not taking the credit for that, but it was an observation that 90 odd people made when we came on an event. We've all got cards and no cash, how do we spend money? Now you can, you can do either. Yeah, so, it's, it's quite efficient, that's like that. Well, overall, it's a fantastic theme park with some excellent rides, fantastic theming throughout. Wonderful soundtracks that I absolutely adore, and just overall a solid lineup of rides and attractions. But if you can, visit midweek, not in peak time summer and not in peak time winter. That is my top tip for Fantasia Land. November weekdays, that's where it's at. Any more thoughts from you, Stephen? Um, the only thing I'll probably point out is Guys to Rickshaw, the haunted um, attraction you've got. That it could do with an update, could it, mate? <laughs> <laughs> it was interesting. While you were on Talon, and I briefly mentioned it earlier. Oh, did you? Yeah, okay. yeah it's, a, it, it's an interesting attraction. I think you could do with a revamp next. Yeah, definitely. You know, I've done a hardware, I just need some potential. Yeah, the right system is fine, just improve the feeling. Yeah. That's all. But yeah, I'm going to end it there. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. And many thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.